all right guys welcome back to the channel so this time i was heading to singapore so all the way from delhi to malaysia and malaysia to singapore so i had a layover in malaysia for a couple of hours to the next flight for singapore so reaching singapore i just cleared my immigration and then headed to the jewel which is world largest indoor water fountain in the singapore terminal one so these are some duty free shops at the singapore terminal 4 airport and i had to move from terminal 4 to terminal 1 to see the jewel so I reached the jewel and spent some time over here. So there are some stores over here as well. So it was a little crowded down there, so I just moved to the upside and see the jewel properly from there. You can see this is the world biggest indoor water fountain and it's pretty beautiful. Taken video from all the angles and then cover all the places, everything properly over here. So, so a lot of people are taking pictures down there. So it was a little crowded, but I started also getting down there and then take some pictures from there. So finally spending some time over there, I had to walk out and then move to the town. So I just started heading to the train station. Station was at Terminal 2 and I had to walk from Terminal 1 to Terminal 2 because there was no any direct way. So I just headed to the station. The experience was going good so far and I can imagine the world number one country how it would look like so it was pretty clean and everything was quite beautiful as well finally reached to the station's platform and took the train and headed to the town so I had to go to the Chinatown so reaching the Chinatown I had a hotel book there so just got a little fresh meet my friend and then started exploring Chinatown so we got this famous temple in the Chinatown which is quite famous on the internet as well I saw that multiple times when I was trying to do some research on the Singapore before visiting from Chinatown we moved to Marina Bay Mall so this is the biggest mall over here and you can find all the biggest brands over here as well so we found this Rolex store over here and we started seeing the watches which were quite expensive so we decided not to buy those and then move forward so this way connects the Marina Bay Mall with Marina Bay Hotel and we were moving forward to go inside the Marina Bay Hotel this is the Marina Bay Hotel and this is the common area of the hotel where people and the tourists come and explore the place and after that they move back to the mall or move back to the station so we moved to the another side of the mall which was quite looking good and different kind of lightnings and the designs over here so looking a little fancy quite good so it was quite evening and it started raining as well and we were just waiting to rain to be stopped so we can move outside and move back to Chinatown but we were just waiting in the mall so we found this rain has been stopped and then we moved to the station and moved back to Chinatown quickly we found this Indian temple as well near the Chinatown there's an evening prayer was going on so we moved to another place and find this beautiful street with the lightning on the trees and the plants and then it was a quite a beautiful straight line then you can click up pictures so there's a place called Little India as well so we started moving towards there in this whole street the indian bars indian restaurants so you can find indian food easily over here and also you can just go into the bars and have the beers wine whatever you want to take so you can have it and enjoy your night so can't tell me about how's the experience over here <laughs> and on the right side all the bars are indian welcome to delhi six <laughs> showing the indian cricket <laughs> Here we have more Indian cricket. <laughs> we got all Indian. Singapore culture. Yeah. So how's the street look like? <laughs> like we are in Little India. <laughs> Everywhere in Little India. See the people are enjoying over here. We found this lake over here. It's quite touristic. So there are multiple bars, restaurants over here, and many restaurants are Indian. So you can just find the easily Indian foods over here. Also, you can find the beautiful skyline of the Singapore buildings as well. Then we find this bird, and this bird was angry. So we call it Angry Bird. So you can find all the international banks office over here. So UOB Bank is a quite famous over here. So you can see the UOB building. So we were just walking around this lakefront. So you see this is the very famous place where the people walk around in the daytime. So all the tourist people you will find over here in the daytime. But it's night and also it was raining in the evening. So that's why they're less crowdy. And this is the kind of reflection of the buildings in the lake. So it was kind of canal which comes under the city from the ocean. And after moving towards that, we just finally moved to the viewpoint of the Marina Bay. Knees are hurting, man. Yeah. 
this is what we wanted to see yeah it looks nice in the night thank god tomorrow we have saved our day now we're gonna look for something else yeah i don't know is it the most beautiful yeah this is the place bro it's quite nice bro oh is this the opera house Sydney oh, yeah. city <laughs> <laughs> is the ha half of the opera house and this one came from France this one we work it just 